fire, but if the water was green. Oh. Mm. Do I remember how to do this? I have no idea. What's going on guys? It has been, what, three months? I have no idea since my last video. Might be wondering, where was I? Um, it was cold and I didn't want to ride or make content outside when it was freezing cold in my area. I don't know how other creators do it. Me, that's, that's a no-go. I kept my bikes inside, nice, dry, away from the climate. So today, it is a beautiful, damn near 60 degree weather, probably the best day of the week, according to the forecast. I had an idea for a video. So if you guys are like me and you kept your uh, your bikes inside, maybe a garage or your apartment or whatever, all winter basically collecting dust uh, and you wanna break them out and you wanna make them look pretty, you're in luck because, and this is not a sponsored video, Super 73 and Chemical Guys collabed and made some cleaning products, a uh, lineup if you will, to help clean up your bikes and keep them looking nice, clean. So we're gonna be doing that today, testing it out and uh, see how they are really. In case you guys are like more into cleaning your bikes or cars or ATVs or whatever, right? And you use Chemical Guys, don't hate me too much. All right, they sent this out to me. I don't know anything about cleaning a car. I don't know anything about detailing. I might be using the wrong products in the wrong ways or whatever. I'm just trying to get the dust off my bikes, okay? Also, I did do a little bit of research on Chemical Guys, mainly because I inherited my mom's car. She got a new one, so I'm getting her old one. Her old one is dirty and I wanna try and keep it looking nice nice, clean, pretty, maintain it. So I definitely did my research on Chemical Guys in terms of car products. If the bike stuff that they sent me is good, I'm definitely gonna be buying like a whole kit and a half for the car. So we'll see. All right, so in the collab, or at least on Super 73's website, they have a few different items that you can pick up, uh, which these are both on the Super website and on the Chemical Guys website. We have a two piece, I believe, of premium microfiber sponges. Uh, two of them come in here. I've never really used them before, like at all, in terms of like cleaning my car. But hey, microfiber sponges, that's gotta be good for like a big general area of the bike. You can also get a 24 by 16 microfiber cloth. It's good for glass and window. Pretty sure in terms of like the small details, like maybe the handlebars or the mirrors or whatever the case may be on my bike, I'll be using this to get like really in between the crevices, like in the rims, uh, in, within the frame, all that stuff as well, pretty much anywhere that the sponges can't fit in. And in terms of cleaning products, we have three of them. Two of them I'll be using today. The third one is pretty much more of an on-the-go solution. First one I'm using is the Chemical Guys No Nonsense Invisible Super Cleaner. Uh, again, while I've researched some of the products trying to clean my car, this is pretty much an all-in-one. If you are on a budget and you just can only get one thing to clean your car, your bikes, whatever, it would be the no nonsense invisible cleaner. I don't think you need water. You could use it with water diluting it, but I'm just gonna spray this on and wipe down the bike with it. After I do that, uh, there is also the silk shine protectant. So this, I'm probably gonna be using it on the seat and maybe the tires as well, depending. I really haven't looked too much into this product specifically, but we will see how it turns out. And the on the go option, that's the third uh, spray bottle lineup, if you will, in the collection is the quick detailer. Pretty much what this one is, it's let's just say you already cleaned your bike, but you want it looking spick and span for photo ops if you're on a group ride or whatever the case may be, you can bring this, bring a microfiber cloth, spray this on the bike real quick, and it'll just quickly clean up the bike, make it look nice and shiny. So we're not gonna be using this today, maybe on a group ride in the future, but for right now, we're gonna be using the other two options. Taking the camera off the tripod for a second, also to test out this new camera I got, trying to show you how dusty or dirty my bike got uh, kind of over the winter. I really only kept it in my garage, maybe took it out once or twice, but you can really sort of see here how dusty it is. There we go, that looks a lot better. You can really see how dusty it is. Uh, I don't know if the camera does it justice. Oh God, yeah, look at that. Oh God, yeah, that's just the rim right there. Fender has got some dust, it looks like. Uh, within the frame, it doesn't look too bad, but definitely in like the small crevices, like behind this logo, it's dirty as well. Handlebars don't look too bad. I don't cover up my bike in the garage. Like I don't, I have a bike cover, but I don't really use it. Tires, I don't have any specific tire cleaner. I'll try one of the sprays that I have here, uh, but that is pretty much it. I still have these disconnected because I tried to practice wheeling the other day. It didn't go so well, but yeah, I mean, there's, you know, some small specks of dirt, nothing too crazy. I like to keep my bike nice and clean. The silk protectant, I'm gonna try it out on the seat. I'm sure it'll just make it pop and shine a bit more, but uh, pretty much the seat, 
the fenders I'll use it on, but everything else in terms of like this frame specifically, I'll use the no nonsense cleaner. So this is a bit of a before. I will try my best to clean it up as much as I can, but just to kind of show you how the bike looks prior to cleaning it up. So real quick, and this probably isn't the best comparison since I changed the lighting a bit, or not the lighting, I had to move the bike a bit to change, you know, how I clean it, but this is a dirty side. I have not cleaned the side, this side of the bike yet. Pretty much how it's looked right before I started cleaning it. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it, but you can definitely see some dirt right there on the frame. Definitely looks like it needs to be clean. It looks dull, it looks boring, like it's been in a garage for like a few months now. And then this side, that just off rip looks way cleaner already. Looks, I probably could have done a bit more elbow grease, but again, this is just a quick review, if you will, of the product lineup. And so far I'm pretty impressed. I use the sponge to get majority of the frame, but like I said, the crevices like under the frame or under the uh, fender, under the fender and like in between the suspension, I will use a rag for. But so far, I'm impressed, let's keep going. So I would say that's a pretty good uh, quick clean, if you will, using the no nonsense invisible cleaner. So now we're gonna go around more of the in the crevices, if you will, with the microfiber cloth and really gonna tackle, you know, the seat and maybe the fender as well, the rims, if I can get this on, like just through every single crevice with the silk shine protectant. I actually should have used the first one on the rims, but I'll go back and do it another day. Like I said, I do plan on buying some more products from Chemical Guys just for my car. So I'm sure I can get something a little bit better to really get in between the spaces of the rims. Now, actually, it says I should have cleaned it with the chemical cleaner first. Let's go ahead and do that on the seat real quick.
Okay, so uh, initial impressions, it did the job. It did the job very well. Uh, it might not pick it up so much on camera, but the bike looks way cleaner as if it never really sat in the garage. Uh, again, this video was just more of a general cleaning, testing out, you know, cleaning the frame, cleaning the seat. I would even cleaned the frame bag as well. Uh, in terms of like just really getting into it, like the tires and the rims, I'll go ahead and maybe make a separate video on that or just do, do that straight up off camera. But I will say the bike looks a lot cleaner in terms of the frame. It even smells a lot cleaner too. Like I don't know what they use in terms of a scent for this stuff, but the bike smells like a, a new bike smell, if that makes sense. 10 out of 10 would recommend picking up this stuff. I mean, the seat, I, I'm stuck on the seat. The seat looks brand new, like as if it's just, it's just slimy. What the fuck did I just say? It just looks way better than it did before, in my opinion. Obviously, it could have done a better job if I really took my time, put some elbow grease into it. But again, I just want to enjoy the weather outside. I wanted to kind of spend some time cleaning the bike up. I'll probably really go into it and disconnect all the stuff from the handlebars and give that a good clean and take apart this, give the inside a good clean and whatnot as well. Maybe even bust out the hose. Who knows? But, uh, That'll be it for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions about this whole cleaning kit, if you will, leave them in the comments down below. I'll leave a link to the page you can buy all this stuff to off of Super 73's website. But uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope you guys will clean your bikes off after sitting inside all winter. And hopefully the next video will be sooner than three months from now, you know, with the weather being good. All right, peace. Drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff.